What's going on, smart people? Going into week three of the semester, I can't believe it's already the third week of classes, and what's hilarious about this is it's still not a full week of classes. This week, one of my professors is actually out on a conference or something for the entire week and won't be back until Friday, so what that means is I don't have quantum mechanics at all this week. So going into the third week, the first week we started on Wednesday. Second week, we started on Tuesday, and I also didn't have to SI, and this week I don't even have quantum. It's kind of funny. Uh, but nevertheless, I still did get my first homework assignments that are due next week, and I figured I'd talk about that a little bit. So I have two problem sets. One is for statistical mechanics, and then one is for quantum field theory. And for the statistical mechanics one, it is really just basic review of thermodynamics and fundamental concepts in statistical mechanics. So the first one, I don't know if you could see this here, but it's six different problems of proving different thermodynamic relations. If you've had any thermodynamics at all, you know that it is a one big course on partial derivatives, taking partial derivatives of temperature with respect to pressure at constant entropy and just all of these different combinations in terms of these total differentials. Uh, so the first problem is just proving all of these different identities. The next ones are some problems that are straight out of the Pathria book. Now the problems are from the third edition and it just says what problem it is. My book hasn't actually come in yet. So I'm hoping that they're the same problems as the second edition, which I found online. I'll link it in the description. One of those problems was like coming up with how uh, a gas equation changes if instead of particles you assume that they have some diameter, that they're actually little spheres interacting with each other. And then once it gets to a little bit more of the statistical mechanics, it says things like you have and particles that can that are non-interacting that can occupy certain energy levels uh, find the microcanonical partition function evaluate the entropy of the system using Stirling's formula for those of you who don't know Stirling's formula is a way of approximating what the logarithm of a factorial is which is really useful in statistical mechanics uh, and it becomes a much better approximation the larger the number your factorialing is and with statistical mechanics, you have on the order of Avogadro's number of particles, so it becomes a very good approximation. And further things like you have, you're finding the difference between the average number of systems in a state and the most probable, given some binomial distribution. So it's a refresher on thermodynamics, basic statistical mechanics, and even some combinatorics, which is very good for me. Now moving on to uh, quantum field theory, I'll probably talk more about this later on once I really start trying to solve the problems because right now we're just reviewing path integrals, which might not be, that's still a little vague because this whole course is basically a course on path integrals. Uh, so for this, we're given the propagator for a harmonic oscillator and told to extract the wave function and the energy levels and some other stuff in terms of uh, Euclidean time evolution operator. When I say Euclidean time, what's kind of funny about quantum field theory is we go to imaginary time quite a bit, which is interesting. I've never had to do that before. Also given this pretty wild problem where we're given a Lagrangian, we construct the action, and then we solve basically the diffusion equation, the heat equation, which is just the Schrodinger equation, uh, by doing a Fourier transform to extract the propagator and then evaluating the path integral. So this looks like it's definitely going to be testing my mathematical limits for this for this homework assignment. I'm pretty excited about it. I'll talk more about it once I understand more about the homework, like I said. Uh, speaking of quantum field theory, since this is quantum field theory 2 and I haven't taken the first course, the professor who taught the first course is also my quantum mechanics professor, and he gave us all a pretest to see what people remembered from the first course. I said, instead of just turning it in since I haven't had the course, do you mind if we meet on a certain day? That way I can talk about what I think I know, what I don't know, and you can correct me if I say anything you know, just stupid. And he said, yeah, that's a good idea. So we're going to start having regular meetings. The first one is going to be this next Friday, where we're going to talk about the pretest. you know, basically talk about free quantum field theory, interactions, the Dirac equation, uh, S matrices, basic second quantization stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. That's all I have to say for today. Let me know in the comments section, would you rather see some stat mech or thermodynamics videos in the near future or quantum field theory stuff? Let me know and I will see you guys there. What am I doing with my hands?